Hello, this is William Agnew with Cellular Repair School, and I have with me Josh Gray, and he's going to help us answer the frequently asked question, which is, how much is it going to cost to start up a cell phone repair store? And Josh, I know we get this question all the time uh, surrounding costs. So can you give us a little insight onto what it costs to start up your own cell phone? Absolutely. Store? And obviously it's a great question because everybody wants to know how much it's going to cost to get into business. Right. You know, what am I looking at? Can I do it? You know, do I have enough money? Um, so first of all, I got to kind of preempt this whole conversation with your mileage will vary, right? We're not giving any legal advice, any right. tax advice. Right. You know, we're not making any claims to what you could earn or what it will actually cost you. Right, so make sure you do your own due diligence at home, you know, and do your own research. Right. So now, with that being said, let's jump into it. Right. Right. The real cost around this can vary, you know. And again, I kind of hate to say that, but it does because there's three different types of business model types that you can choose from. Right. You could do home-based business, you could do a mobile-based business, or you could go retail. You know, and obviously they're going to have completely different uh, costs associated with Absolutely. those. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So we'll just jump right into the first one, which is usually the least expensive route, and we see a lot of students start this route because they are capital limited, right, right? is home-based home business. Based, right. Everybody starts from home, usually, the most part. And realistically, to start from home, it doesn't take very much. Right. And I Not think starting all. from home is one of those things to really see if you can do this business. I think so, too. It's like, like well, I don't want to invest, right. you know, X amount of dollars <laughs> into Until I know. It's until I know, I is this something I enjoy? Can right. I really make money doing this? Right. You know, and absolutely you can. Right. Right. But to get back to the point is... How much does it cost? It's going to vary, mm -hmm. but usually we see people start from home for just a few thousand dollars, mm -hmm. you know, and that's including training, your startup inventory, mm -hmm. you know, and your tools, right. you know, because realistically it doesn't cost a lot. You don't have it. You're using the bedroom or your garage at home, mm -hmm. you know, so a lot of times your expense is going to be in getting the training, right, right? and then getting your initial inventory. Mm -hmm. Doing Craigslist and different things like that is free, so it doesn't really even cost you anything to market. Mm -hmm. When you step up to the next level, uh, mobile business, Mobile business is basically, so you're not working out of your home, or maybe you are, mm -hmm. but the difference is instead of the customers bringing units to you, you're actually going out. And usually what we see people do in the mobile business is they go out and they do repairs on site. Right. You know, you're doing it at corporate locations, you're doing it at other people's homes, you know, whatever it is. Meeting people in restaurants at right. Starbucks and right. doing repairs there at Starbucks while they wait, have a Frappuccino. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you do that, the cost is going to be really similar. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you got to get your training, you got to invest in some tools and then do some small startup inventory. Now granted, either one of those, you don't have to put a lot of money into it for startup inventory. Um, and the tools is gonna be pretty limited for the mobile especially, uh, because you're probably not gonna be doing soldering and different things like that, mm -hmm. you know, if you're doing a mobile-based business. And you don't need to do that to be mobile based, mm -hmm. right? So you can kinda expect your cost to be about the same. Now granted, it can step up a notch if you go a little bit more in depth than to, and you actually go out and get a van, right. you know, you get a company vehicle that's wrapped or get something wrapped, like that, yeah, exactly. you know, because when you get a van, now you can do kind of like locksmiths, if you guys think about locksmiths. Mm -hmm. You know, locksmith is driving their van, you go in the back and they've got a bench back there, right. you know, where they're cutting keys and they've got power tools. That's a great you know. example of locksmiths. Yeah, so you could do a very similar thing where you put a workbench in and you've got your hot air station, mm -hmm. you know, you got your power converters. If you're going to go something like that, obviously now you're looking at investing a little bit more in equipment and now your van is gonna be your highest expense. Right. You know, but usually when we've seen people do that, it's still pretty modest investment, eight to $9,000. It mm -hmm. just depends on how much you can get your van for and different things like that, right? right? The ultimate level, and really, I mean, you could even be bigger than this, but the one that most people focus on is the retail. Right. You know, and really that's, we teach all, but one of the things we focus on is retail success mm -hmm. because that's really where the bread and butter right. is in this business. That's where the rubber meets the road. Exactly. It really is. <laughs> yes. You know, so when you get into retail, again, what you do is going to vary. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get into this for hardly any money at all. Let's say, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. We see this all the time. If that, I've seen people invest a lot less than that actually right. in retail locations because it's going to depend. You got to remember, there's certain fixed costs that are always going to be the same. Mm -hmm. Training, mm -hmm. going to be the same. Right. Right. No matter what business you choose to start. Uh, the second part is the equipment. Mm -hmm. Now granted, if you have a retail location, it might be a little bit more of an investment because you're deciding that I'm going to hire right off the bat, I'm going to do two right. technicians right. or three technician stations or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So you're going to invest in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Hint, you know, even if you decide to do that, you don't need three microscopes if you got three technicians, right? right, right. So you can still save money and we're going to help you figure out okay. how to shave costs and do this as inexpens inexpensively and affordably as possible. Right. Right. But your biggest cost is going to be your leasehold improvements. Mm -hmm. And that's going to vary. You know, and, and we do, we, again, we help you with floor plans and things like that if you guys need help with that. Uh, but that's usually going to be your biggest expense because that's 
it's an emotional connection for people right, too. Right. Right. It's kind of like buying a house. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, well, how much can I buy a house for? Right. Well, it depends on what you want to buy. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're if you're looking to buy something that just gets the job done, somewhere to live, mm -hmm. you know, you can get something very modestly. Right. You know. Now, granted, if you want fifteen thousand square feet and fourteen bathrooms, right. you know, it's still somewhere to live, <laughs> but it's a different experience. <laughs> it and it's is. the same with the retail thing. When you do retail, a lot of it is going to be around what kind of culture you're trying to create for your customers, mm -hmm. what kind of experience you're trying to cultivate. Right. You know, so we've seen people who don't really do anything, rip right. the carpet out, maybe paint the floors, paint the walls, throw a register in there, call right. it good. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do it very, very inexpensively, especially if you know how to negotiate your leases properly. Right. You know, if you do it on another level where you're really trying to be, you know, kind of the Rolls Royce mm -hmm. of the space, mm -hmm. you know, and you, you put the wood floors in and you really go nice on fixtures, mm -hmm. obviously your costs are going to be a bit higher. Right. Now, one of the things to keep in consideration is pretty much to open a store is always going to be about the same amount of costs uh, retail-wise. Mm -hmm. When you look at a uh, franchise, like a national franchise, mm -hmm. you have to keep in mind that the store cost that they uh, quote you is including their fees, mm -hmm. right? So. For the most part, you could build a store on the level of their stores, mm -hmm. and you could take out thirty-five thousand, even a little bit more, because um, depending on the suppliers they give you, some of that stuff is marked up, right. and you can get a lot less expensive. Right. You know, so I would say even on the ultimate level, I've seen guys build just fantastically beautiful stores, mm -hmm. beautiful stores, mm -hmm. uh, for pretty modest investment right. around thirty-five, forty thousand. Yeah, you can't beat it in this industry. It's just the, the the cost of starting a new business. You know, whether you go, you know, home-based business or in the store, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. And that's a good point. I, you know, realistically, uh, you know, we, we, we tell potential students this all the time, right. and we get it, you know, echoed back to us from students, you know, from alumni, mm -hmm. is what other business, I've owned several other businesses, right. and I can't think of any other business that you can invest such a modest amount, such a nominal amount of money, right. you know, and have such a large potential return, return. on investment. Very quickly. Right? And I got to say potential, right? Because quickly, again, yeah. we, we're going to yeah, say that. Yeah, it is potential. It's potential. Yeah, it's potential. You, know, there's, you could go out and invest $100,000 in a store and not make a dollar. Right. You know, there, there is risk involved. This right. is owning a business. But it doesn't take a genius to see that in this industry there is a demand, which is probably why some people are actually watching this video anyway, because they understand that there is a demand in this industry for cell phone repair being that, you know, so many people have a cell phone. Right. So it really or makes, gaming console, or a gaming or console, iPods, or an or iPod, tablets. exactly. Yeah. So it really does make sense, you know, and, and, and people see that demand. So Absolutely. Josh, we want to thank you for coming by and, hey, uh, and answering the questions and sharing your expertise on this frequently asked question. Guys, for more information about this topic and more information uh, about topics just like this and answering other questions, all you have to do is click on the link below and you'll receive a series of absolutely free training videos just for letting us know that you're interested in what Cellular Repair School has to share with you guys, all right? Josh, again, we want to thank you, and we'll see you guys in the next Frequently Asked Questions video. This is William Agnew. I'll see you in the next one.